Minu nimi on Annaliis, ma olen Eestist ja ma elan Iirimaal. Vanakam, jäm peere Svati, Naipu, Germany Lekke, na vandu India Lindu vandurke. Vid, mene zvate Oleg, ja z Ukraini, ale zaraz živu v Polši. Menu Jusa Eva, sem z České republiky a momentálne živu v Londýne. My name is Felicia, I am from Toronto, Canada and I currently live in Slovakia. Marhaba, esmi Munze, ana men Soria v Aisbe Almani. Cześć, mam na imię Trang, mieszkam obecnie w Anglii. Mój imię jest Alisa, ma tu z Uomesta, ja mam z Saksasa. Ana nas Mirina, ona Aisha w Olomoc, w Belgii. My motivations for leaving Estonia have mainly been to better myself, to gain more knowledge and to gain better employment. I migrated for love. <laughs> I migrated to uh, be with my boyfriend who decided to move back after spending some time living in Canada. Migration for me uh, is a lot about being independent and uh, trying to live on your own. I wanted to see how it is in Germany and in general, uh, how is life outside of Finland. I decided uh, to go study in Czech Republic because uh, it's like best of both worlds for me is like being abroad almost without being abroad since like Slovakia and Czech Republic are really close. So my reasons for migrating to the UK is diversity and it's also uh, the job opportunities, especially in London. I feel like in, in the Czech Republic, uh, you can peak very early on. You reach a certain level and after that it's very hard to grow professionally. Where I need to go, um, that was not the issue. The issue was like, I just need to leave. I need to leave Syria. So I went to Turkey and then um, through the way, believe it or not, I decided to come to Germany. We moved to the UK for um, financial reasons, so there was there were just better jobs at the UK. And um, my parents also thought that UK schools were way better than Polish ones. I wanted to do a master's program, and this program is conducted in two different universities, one in the Czech Republic and one in Germany. I had no perceptions of the Czech Republic before I came here. I only like knew very little about the country and just I only saw the touristic side of Prague and that's it. The expectations is um, more or less as I read on the internet. <laughs> Strict country, um, everything take time, so <laughs> no surprises. Once I arrived, I realized that all my English skills were quite useless because the kind of English you're taught in Eastern Europe it's very American or British and Scottish people speak quite differently. Uh, I found people really like friendly and even like shop assistants. It felt like they wanted to get to know you. And I just thought, wow, it's so much easier to, to, to make friends uh, in the UK. Um, but I realized that that's just politeness. It's just what people do and it rarely goes beyond that. The minute I arrived to Olomouc on the way to the dorms, uh, on the dorm wall, um, there was a big graffiti that said, fuck Islam. And that was my first day in the country. So already just seeing that, I, I felt very shaken up. Like I was a little scared. Making friends and connecting with people in Slovakia has been pretty challenging. I don't feel that there have been many opportunities to be able to connect with people. Like I don't really get to meet many people because I think there is this predominant um, fear of who I am or what I represent. I used to be very proud for being Czech, but there was uh, a, a change and I can't even remember when that happened. But when someone asks me where you're from and I say Czech Republic, there's a little like embarrassment behind that. Everything was hard. Um, looking for an apartment, looking for a course, or doing anything was extremely hard. Um, it's a new country. You have absolutely no one. You don't know the language, and um, somehow you need to start in life. <laughs> 